Boom, peace intro. What's up, guys? How's it going? Saturday. Um, I made a video about my ROC yesterday, but I'm going to avoid that one. Um, because I went out today and I found some things. I want to show them to you and go over a few things. Um, I also, this Saturday, so I went through the list to see who had whatever right. I'm still not going to tell you who um, had what right yet. We're going to wait till that guy gets, man, gets his uh, custom in and he decides whether he's going to post a video or not. This might be a little long video, guys. I know a lot of you will split, and that's totally cool. That's all good with me. Um, I do got a few things to show you. Some people may not like it, but I want to show you my M9A3. She is a beaut, and she is one of my favorites. Um, I have a few, or I have a couple Berettas, 40 cal, 9 millimeter, and I love this one. She is a nice. Any of you guys out there have it, you will like it too. And, um, uh, I don't want to go into any other crap, but I do want to get something out of the way really quick. Um, I'm getting emails about things. Look, this thing that has continued and continued between other YouTubers now, I am not in the middle of. Don't try to say I'm in the middle of it. I made my video and made it clear, and I was right about everything I said, I believe. None of this need to happen. You don't throw gas on a fire. I see videos all the time I disagree with. I don't send them to somebody else so I can make them mad. And then that other person shouldn't be making, you know, cussing out videos. You know, it's as simple as that. So, no, I'm not in the middle of this, and it's a shame that it's turned into this when it really didn't have to be. The first video was not sent to anybody. Nobody was forced to watch that and start the trouble that's going on now. And I have a feeling a lot of these troubles are deeper issues than you think. That video just popped the pimple. So, I'm just going to say that because I made my video for the very reason I said I made it. Because I knew I was going to be commenting on both people's channels still. And I know how a lot of people are. They want to call that picking size. Or look, he agrees with this. He agrees with that. I made it perfectly clear in my video. I don't agree with any of it. Say what you want to me, guys. I will not cuss you out for it. I won't make a video and say crap to you. Like either one of them did. Both of them said things to each other that, that you know, they're, they, they shouldn't say. But that's them. My point was what I said. That's what started the whole thing. It didn't have to happen. Send that video to me. I'm not going to make a video. I'm going to, eh, that's his opinion. I'm going to get through this real quick. Here's a prime example of exactly what I'm talking about. I don't believe in this COVID crap. I had it and I almost died. I know it's real. Survival rate has always been above 99%. Always. They never lied. They never even denied it to you. They've told you that from day one. Tell you you need all these vaccines. Tell you you need all this stuff. Barack Obama's had every one of them. He's, a, he's sick now. He's tested positive. All this stuff, it never worked. That's my beliefs. That's what I know. That's what the data shows. Now, I know people have died from it. Let's say I pull one of them clippings, okay? And I pull one of them clippings and I post it up here on my video. And I say, look at that. So do you still believe in this? Something like that. Okay, now somebody sends that video to one of you guys who happen to have a mother, a father, a grandma, an aunt that died from COVID. You're probably going to disagree with it, right? Because you had the 1% that died. I almost died. Okay? Does, does that change the fact that it was a 99% survival rate? No, it doesn't. It doesn't change that at all. So, But now somebody makes a video cussing me out, calling me all the name, a piece of sh all of it, because they disagree with what I posted. Although I didn't send that video to you. I posted it on my channel. The only way you've seen it was to come to my channel and watch it, or you sent it to somebody else. That's the only way. But now... That doesn't make me wrong. Doesn't make me wrong. Go look at the stats yourself. They're the ones telling you it's a 99% survival rate. Okay? So that's my point here, is it didn't have to turn into what it turned into. Okay? So the only reason I'm saying that is I'm getting this email like I'm in the middle of this. No, I'm not, guys. And I assure you, I don't want to go any further with this. Because if you think I am, and I do need to get in here and clear this up, I will, I will show you exactly how it goes. I will point it out. I will wipe the floor with this whole damn thing. I'll show you. But you guys should be able to do that yourselves. Okay? All you got to do is be real. Dig in your inner self. Admit who started what, who done what, and, and it'll go away. That's all you got to do. And, again, I know a lot of you guys call me the president of the diecast community. That was a nickname given to me by my good buddy, the diecast clown. Okay? I've never once called myself that. 
I don't. I don't call myself that. I don't address myself as that as anything. So I don't want any of you guys to think that just because people call me the president of the United of the Diecast community that I think I am the president of the Diecast community. No, I don't. Okay. And I don't say things I say because I think I'm the president of the diecast community. I say them because that's how I feel and that is real. That is the truth about all of these situations. What has blown into now up here, I guess there's videos out there I haven't seen yet. I'm not getting the notifications. I never would have seen this initial video. I had no idea it even existed had I not seen the video of the cussing someone out telling you know, which made me wonder, well, who's that? What's that video from? I never even would have known. Okay, so there's my point. I just want to get that out there because trust me, guys, you don't want me to come and make another video about this. I'll wipe the floor with the whole thing and I'll use common sense to do it. So I think it'd be great if you guys figure this out and handle it. So anyway, I'm sorry to get so aggressive about it, but I just want you to know I'm not the average Joe Blow. And what helps me is my compass points north, okay? I only made my video for the reason I made it. I do admit I, I do did appear to sound harsher on Nas. Okay, but it's because in my mind, he started the fire by saying anything about it. He should have blew that video off and said, who cares? That's my opinion. I'm not saying he don't have the right to be upset about it. I would have never sent it to him, especially at a time like this. What he's thinking about, all the things he's going through, I, 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 I wouldn't have sent that to him just to make him upset. No. But anyway, anyway, that's my point is if you just go back to the beginning of this, it wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have broken all them bones had I not jumped off that cliff. Right. Okay. Let's get past all that. Sorry. I even had to say that I was done with all this, but anyway, I may not be, it appears I may have to say something else, but anyway, um, hopefully it all gets handled. Okay. So anyway, this is my Beretta nine millimeter. It is an M9 A3 and she is a sweet puppy. I mean, I love this baby. Let's go ahead and take the 17 rounds, 17 rounds in this mag. Came with three, one in it, two extra mags. I have six. I've bought three more because I have a chest rig that holds several mags, AR-15 mags and everything else, but real sweet pistol. Real nice. M9A3 Beretta. And I don't know why. You could just let the safety down and the hammer will fall, but I always let mine down. Not always, but a lot of times, especially if it's empty. I do tend to use the safety if there's one in the chamber just because I don't ever want to slip and have it go off. Um, but it's double, double action. And just a sweet, sweet pistol. Um, it, it's threaded barrel. For a suppressor this is just a thread protector on there so I can put one of the suppressors on it and uh, ambidextrous safety uh, just a dream to shoot I mean it is a dream to shoot and there was a top-of-the-line SIG that came out when this came out that I was trying to go back and forth on because I like both and I went with this I think this is around 1100 bucks now I got it for a grand when it first came out and I got an Olight on it it's a light, laser light flashlight, as you see there. It'll, it'll go from flashlight to laser and flashlight to just laser, as you see the green dot. Very nice. And what I like is, I, is it'll strobe. And now if you look at that long enough, that will mess with you. when it, it doesn't mess with me aiming it that way, but it will mess with you when it's aimed at you. And I keep it. It, this is another one by my bed. I know I have a lot of weapons by my bed because it just depends on what I'm going to grab. I have a lot of people in my house. I have to consider that when I start slinging ammo through the walls at any given time, if somebody ever comes in here. No, I hope to never have to do that. I, I think there's a good chance I'll never have to do that. But I'll never tell myself that I'm never going to have to do that. So I have shotguns with ammo that won't go through several walls. I have an AR-15 with ammo go clean through this house and out the other side. I mean, it just depends on what you got to grab, guys. So anyway, this is one of them that lays by my bed. And it didn't have a holster for it. This O-Light, this is a very nice light, too. I actually have a couple of these. They're... Yeah, 129, 159, 179. They range. You can catch them on sale. 
but very nice, very nice laser light. And um, it, like I said, 17 rounds, but it, it, it didn't have, it, you can't find a holster, especially a leather one, that will take it with this light. So I got a hold of some people in Falco, a real nice lady, seems to run the organization in Slovakia or the Slovakia Republic, something like that. And I uh, had her hand make me one. And they actually took um, the information from my firearm, my light, and uh, hand made me a holster. And the only thing is I don't, I don't carry it a lot because it's so big. It's just so big. That's why I carry my, you know, a smaller, smaller weapon. But, you know, it doesn't hold but seven rounds. But hopefully I never need one. And uh, this baby holds 17, and I have six mags. So it's perfect for when you do need to have your gear on. But I also have a 40 cal that I carry that has six mags also. So it's it's strapped up pretty good. But nice, nice little pistol. Just thought I'd take time to show that. And I know a lot of you guys don't care to see that either. But anyway, some of you do. So... She is a beauty and one of my favorites. Comes with separate grips you can change out. I put the rubber grip on there because I just like it. So anyway, there's that, guys. Hope it's all good. Hope you liked it. I do have some finds here. And here's my RLC Boss Haas. Um, it finally came in yesterday, and luckily mine is flawless. I don't have anything wrong with it. Looks great. Um... And I guess there was 30,000 of them. I'm number 10,162, so I guess maybe that's why they didn't sell out so fast. I don't know. I mean, I thought that people would jump on it, but, you know, it's good. But, yeah, it's nice and clean. Now, I don't open these. And like I mentioned in my video last night, but I didn't post it because I found all this I wanted to show today. Um, CJD, Chris's Junkyard Designs. Check him out, guys, if you haven't checked him out. He opens everything. And he collects a lot of cars. I mean, I don't think he even started that long ago, big time collecting. And, and he may have more than I do. I mean, every time I see his videos, he's got lots and lots of new cars that he's buying. And when I say lots, I mean like he's bought, you know, lots of 15, 20 cars, 30, 50, whatever, you know, on eBay and here and there. I don't know if it's eBay or mostly Instagram, but he gets them from places like that. And, um... So he's got, dang, uh, sorry guys, I fucking darn got my ACAL shirt on and it's grabbing my darn arms again, but it's a lot more comfortable than them leather shirts. These ACAL shirts are nice, man. Adam Calhoun, dude, right on, full American, buddy. You can bet you he's got a, now nah, he might not have an M9A3, but he's got some firearms, I can bet you on that. Anyway, nice, uh, Nice car. I do like it. Glad it came in. Now I just wish the other ones would come in. I seen CJD got his uh, Skyline in, and his looks pretty darn good. I hope mine comes in. You know, his hood wouldn't open up all the way, but it probably will if he slowly works it. But I, he doesn't want to do that, and I understand, because you never know when they're going to snap. So, but yeah, check him out. He opens everything, and he has some nice cars. And he seems to know what to show you. He doesn't... Uh, it doesn't show, I mean, almost everything he shows you want to see. So, anyway, I was glad to get that. So, then I went out today. Oh, also, it's Saturday. So, I went through the comments, and I picked the person that's getting the tarmac. Pulled him out of the hour. I made a video, guys, so you guys get to see the whole thing. I'm just not posting it till later. But um, I went through the video and got the, the, you know, the people that picked the right name. And, um... So there's no sense trying to change it now. Uh, it's it's too late. Um, and I, I, I pulled the person out who's going to get the tarmac. But what I didn't tell you guys was I actually ordered a couple more cars from the Supercon Vegas um, deal that went on. And they're not nothing. That, I like them. I think they're super cool. But um, they're not real elaborate or nothing. But... Um, I, I pulled two more names out of there. So there's actually three people on there that's getting something. And, uh, you know, one's getting the, the tarmac. The next guy's getting a, a car from, uh, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you, I guess, what it is. Um, no, I'm not going to tell you. You know about the tarmac, so I'll leave it at that. I'll let you guys watch the video and see who won 
what second place got and what third place got. And uh, I like them. I think you guys will like them too. And uh, we'll go from there. But I'm not going to release a video until this person gets his car. And uh, I would have thought more of you would have got the, the guy right though. But a lot of you seem to have went one direction. Um, which I, I kind of thought you might. I kind of thought just because of what the car was, you guys would go that way. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I told you I was going to, but it doesn't matter. We'll get to that after he gets his custom and he decides if he's going to make a video or not. Because I want him to be the one to, to tell y'all who the winner is. Um, because, yes, some people did get it right. And um, to tell you who the winner is, if he wants to make a video. If he doesn't, he can let me know, and that's all good. I'll go ahead and release my video so you guys can get your winnings. Now, I went out today because I heard, and I seen CJD found one of these. So I heard they were around, and I heard in my area that there might be some around. So I went to Walmart this morning. I had to go pick up some things, some milk and stuff. And I, and I said, um, well, I'm going to check and see if they're there. And my buddy, yes, it's all, we always look out for each other, but my buddy Diecast Clown has been trying to find this as well. So it was kind of weird because when I left this morning, I, 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 I texted him and said, hey, I'm going to go to Walmart. I hear them, uh, them uh, new box sets with the 62 in it because we like the 62 and the surfboard. He's still a surfer. I used to be a surfer. There's no ocean around me anymore. But um, if anybody surfed, they know what fun and Oh, how relaxing. It's a lot of work, but it's really relaxing. They know how much fun that is. and uh, But he still gets to do it. So anyway, um, I said, I'm gonna, I heard they're around and maybe I'll find them. This was so lucky. I went in there and the guy um, that's always cool to me and tells me when he's got stuff says, ah, we don't have any Hot Wheels except for them ones I just put out there. And he said, I actually put them out an hour or two ago he said but i got some box sets i'm about to put out and i was like box sets and and he was right there doing it he put eight of these out and i was like man that's exactly what i came to get i mean what's the odds of that guys i looked out i guarantee you you go back there probably even this afternoon and they'll be gone they'll be gone and especially with the scalpers in my area i mean i was just lucky to get there when i did so i grabbed one for me and uh i grabbed one for my buddy clown um, Cause like I told him, I was gonna try to get out there and get it, and uh, so I did. And um, I mean, it's kind of cool. I, I mean, like I said, I still send stuff to other people, but it's weird how we seem to know what each other's looking for. You know what I mean? It's just so that's why it works out so much that we're back and forth giving stuff like that because we just seem to know what each other is looking for. I mean, what can I say? Then I got some more cars here, some Hot Wheels and stuff, but I got this. I grabbed it because I don't have a tour bus at all. I don't really care about this set. I don't care about it at all. But that tour bus is just cool. The Batman tour bus. And uh, I don't know if it's a popular one, but I usually see these other cars there. I haven't seen the cool combi. I would probably grab the cool combi, but I haven't even seen it any time I've ever went. But I've seen the other ones there. But I never see this one there. It's like it's always grabbed. But um, I, I grabbed it, and, you know, it's Batman. Batman's cool. I like Batman. Um, but because um, I really don't have a single tour bus. I don't have a single tour bus in my collection. So I was like, well, I'm going to grab that. So I grabbed that. And then I found this thing. Again, I don't like baby blue, but what the heck, you know. Um, I did order... I ordered a couple of these Chevelles because I, I don't know what the deal is, but I found them on J-Car, and they were 6 bucks. And um, that's what you're going to pay at Walmart, plus tax. For, or my Walmart, they're five ninety nine dollars now. And um, so 6 bucks plus tax. With J-Car, I didn't have to pay tax. And um, But I buy a lot of cars usually when I buy there, so it makes up for the shipping, basically. And uh, so I did order that. But the only other ones I would want would probably be the... Uh, c8 corvette i don't really care about the tesla roadster at all the hellcat charger i mean i could do without doesn't matter um i usually like to complete my sets but i'm really big on completing my boulevards 
and my team transports. Those are the ones I really don't like to miss out on. A lot of these car culture, I don't necessarily complete. I just get the ones I like out of them. But yeah, grabbed that today. It was literally the only one there. And then I, I got a, another color shifter, but it's it was only, I only get certain ones, but this one was a Ford F-150. And it was pretty cool looking. I was like, hey, I ain't seen that one. And I guess it turns yellow. And I don't ever take them out of the package, but, but, I, but that was new. I mean, I already had the Camaro, the armored truck, and the other stuff that recently came out, but I hadn't seen the F-150, so I grabbed it. It's pretty cool looking. And uh, now we'll get to the cars. I found some Matchbox and some Hot Wheels. And uh, I need to hurry. I'm already at 20 minutes. I found the Studebaker. I told you guys I wanted. And I guess this might be a Super. They, I don't I don't care. I wanted this. This is the one I wanted. But um, I found the Studebaker and it's crazy because I thought I grabbed I thought I found two. But I've only got one when I got home here. So I guess I only found one. So I got the I got this uh, Studebaker. Let me find somewhere to pile these things. And then I found the uh, I thought somebody sent this to me, but I couldn't remember, so I grabbed another one. And, uh, because I couldn't remember if that was the one that was sent to me or not, but I thought somebody sent this to me. So I grabbed that one. And I grabbed this little thing. I mean, it's just, I'll probably won't even use it, but it's a little keychain car, I guess. It's a little, it goes on your keychain. Yeah, I definitely won't use it. But, um, it is pretty neat. The coupe clip. I haven't, I've never seen one before. I guess, well, duh, it says new for 2022. But, um, but yeah, I grabbed that. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna grab that. So I grabbed it. And then I, I, I found this and thought, man, there must be some Zamax. This was literally the only Zamax I've seen there, period. So I don't know what the other Zamax would be. Um, but this was literally the only one I've seen of any kind. And so I grabbed it. And uh, then I got, I found the new Borla Silverado. These are C and D case. So, I, yeah, I grabbed that. I mean, I don't know. I get trucks. Like I said, it's hard to... You say you're not going to get these things anymore, and then you do. But, I mean, most of these I do want and like. But this one, this one's cool, but I don't like the tires. You know, the Toyota Land Cruiser. I like the look of it. I like the color and all, but I just don't care for them tires. But, um... I just don't know. I mean, I really don't know. But I do like the actual car. And then this one. Whoo, I was so glad to see this one. I love this one. 59 Chevy Impala. I feel like I got a hair poking me or something. But that one was sweet. I like that baby. So I got that. Then the uh, Fusion Busta. I don't, I could do without this, but it was just, I hadn't seen this before. So I grabbed it in case I might regret it. But it's weird looking. It's kind of a fantasy looking thing. And I don't usually get those, but I was in the mix of grabbing the cars. I was like, I'm just going to grab it because I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. But I know one thing for sure. I do see some parts on there I may be able to use for a build or something should I not like it. Um, so I grabbed it and um, then I grabbed, of course, I grabbed the, the new 450F motorcycle because I couldn't remember. I thought I had grabbed it a while back, but I'm not sure. Sometimes if I go in there and, and there's only one new vehicle or something, I'll just leave and not stand in line to pay for it because it just takes too long. And I grabbed the Ain't Fair bus because... I always thought this one was cool when it came out, but I like the colors of this one. I just like the way it looks, and I always dig how it's got the bicycle on the front. But I've got the other two. I think there's only been three that came out, but so so I probably would have grabbed it anyway. But I like the color of this one. It's pretty cool. And um, then I got the Mazda RX-7, and another one that I... I probably shouldn't have grabbed 
And guys, I do still need to pull my cars down and get rid of the ones I don't really want. It's just such a chore. And trying to find the time to just go ahead and do it and not work on customs, not, not do all this is what I got to do. I just got to say, don't work on customs. Go over there and go through those cars because it's just going to take a while. Because I'm going to drift away from these basics. I, I'm going to still get the super cool ones I like to have. This will not be one of them. Um, but for example, this one. I like this uh, F-150 because it says Goodyear on it. See, I would get that. Some people may like it because it won't say Goodyear on it. But that's what's cool about us. Is we can like what we want and get what we want. So I would get stuff like this. But um, some of them others, uh, you know, and this, I, I like this Toyota Tacoma, but it's because I, I haven't seen it and now I know why. It's new for 2022, but it's a Toyota Tacoma. And uh, I drove a 92 Toyota pickup I bought in Arizona, you know, I don't know, 94. It had like, it didn't hardly have any miles on it. And afterwards, a year or so later, they came out with a Tacoma, and I was like, man, I want a Tacoma, but I I, I drove that Toyota for, shoot, 12 years or so. And, uh, but yeah, grabbed the Tacoma, so I probably would have grabbed that anyway. And I also found the that tuned Batmobile, which I was like, man, I want to get that, just because it looks cool. So, you know, it's a Batmobile, but I did find that, so I got that. And I don't even know what the treasure hunt is in a D case or C case or anything. I may have looked right over a treasure hunt. I don't know. I don't know what it is. And uh, then I got the uh, GT40 and Golf livery. I was like, oh, I like that. See, this is about the only way I can really deal with the baby blue is in the Golf livery. I'm just not a baby blue guy. I know Alex Graff. I know you love baby blue. A lot of you guys do. But it's just not me. But in the, it just goes with gulp. I mean, it just it just looks cool. So I got that, <clears throat> and then I found the Corvette, um, '69 Copo Corvette. It's from the DKs also. And I'm sure, you know, and luckily, you know, he had just put these out too you know, a couple hours ago, because otherwise most of this would have been gone. So like I said, guys, there may have been treasure hunt there or something, and I didn't even see it because I don't know what it is. And I just looked for cars that I liked and grabbed them. And this custom Acura, I this is probably one I wouldn't really grab either when it comes down to it, but it is nicely detailed. See? It's not bad. So I went ahead and snatched it. And, um, went from there, you know. And then I grabbed this custom Ford Bronco. I don't really care for the wheels, but I always liked the Bronco. And, uh, so I grabbed that baby. And then I found some Matchbox. Um, I thought, I thought somebody had sent me one of these, but I couldn't remember. So I grabbed it anyway. Just cool old style, you know, it just, the way it looks reminds me of the older Matchbox. But, you know, it's the 34 Chevy Master Coupe. I mean, just nice looking picture and all. Just, so I grabbed that too. And, um, then there was a 2020 Land Rover Defender. And it's kind of baby blue too, but I don't believe I have that. But it's, it's funny how you may have some of these, and then once they change the color on you, you start thinking you don't have it. And then you realize, oh, I do. It was a different color. And then the 94 Lexus LS400. I know I didn't have that. I found that, so I grabbed it. Sorry, guys. Looks like I'm going to go a little longer than 30 minutes. And, and here is the uh, Matchbox Tacoma. 2016 Tacoma with the camper on it. I was like, that is cool. I got to get that. I would have grabbed a couple of them, but there wasn't only, it was only one. Like I said, luckily I got there after he had just put a bunch of these cars out. And, uh, cause they, they go on quick now. And then they, um, there was a Porsche, a, a matchbox Porsche 
918 spider and i was like man it just just looks cool the way it looks and all just looks so the lines on it the curves to it it was just really nice looking i was like that is sweet i like the color and all it's just plain jane i mean really cool looking car especially up there i mean it really looks a lot like that picture when you look at it it really does i was like man that is cool then of course a 60 chevy a 60 chevy el camino it's like man that baby is sweet look at that i don't really care for the whatever color that is you call that but i don't care i'll take it pretty nice and uh, only four more guys almost done found this cool little volkswagen i like the wheels on it and everything the color ain't so cool but i can deal with it i don't care for that what do they call it seafoam green or you know it's all right but i just thought the volkswagen looked really cool the wheels i think is what does it but i grabbed that one i guess i guess it's part of a set Ooh, there's an El Camino with spider webs on it. Man, that wasn't there. I would have grabbed that. El Camino with spider webs on it. Is that 70? Yeah, 70 El Camino. I definitely would have grabbed that. It wasn't there. And um, 911 Carrera Cabriolet. I like that green. Grab that, baby. And... I believe this came out, this Ford Capri, I believe there was a black one. So I got the Ford Capri. The Austin Mini Cooper was there. I just didn't get it. And I don't recall the MR2 being there. Uh, but I got that. And I got the Jeep. And I thought the Jeep was cool because they actually painted the shovel and the axe. See that? That's pretty cool looking. And I was like, you know what? I like that. So, and I like the colors, the earth tones, the tan interior and all that. I was like, right on. So anyway, there you go, guys. That's what I scored today. Um, lucked out and got some stuff. But um, this one I was really happy about because it is exactly what... I really wanted to go find today. It's so funny because, like I said, I, I I text the clown and told him, "Hey, man, I'm gonna go see if I can find those trucks for us," because he's been looking too. And uh, boom, I walked in and got them. Yeah, that right there, I just love that. It reminds me, you know, it says, uh, 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 "Locals only," you know, surf club and all that. Locals only, surf club and all. I can remember that back in the day going, you know, to the beach and all. There was always that one area, you know, out in front of Pier 18 or whatever. Hey, it's locals only, man. Get out of here, you know. And all the way back in the 70s, they did that stuff, you know. But um, they could they could only do that to you when there wasn't enough people on the beach. When there was enough people on the beach or you had enough people with you, they couldn't run you off. They could try, but they'd learn quick to just leave you alone. But um, a lot of times when the waves are breaking right and everything's, it's a good day to be on the beach because that's the first thing we do is hit the pier and read the report. And uh, because back in the 70s, they wrote it on, on a chalkboard. You know, nowadays, I guess you could get all that off your phone. But yeah, there'd be a guy that literally go down there and write the report on chalkboard. And you'd go down there and read it and know where the waves are breaking. Hey, Balboa's busting. Let's go there or whatever, you know. And um. So, a lot of times when it's an excellent day to be there, there'd be too many locals. And and they they got a way of sticking together when they get out there in the water. They'll run you over. They, don't surf by them. Let them have their beach and just move on down because you will get cut. I don't mean by a blade. I mean by a fin, by a, anything. They will run you over. So, just just get on out the way or try to become friends with them. You can do that too. We went there enough that we were able to become friends with several of them. And so we could go to Pier 18 and uh, Huntington and Pier 12 and Newport and 
you know, Dana, there was a lot of places we were able to go, but it was because we went there so much, we, we made friends, but we definitely didn't live there. I didn't have that kind of money. And, uh, anyway, hope you guys like all the cars and everything. Um, I hope you like the firearm. I really love that M983. Any of you guys have one of these, you'll know what I'm talking about. She's a beaut. And, uh, I can't wait for the guy to get his custom and tell y'all who he was so I can give away these other cars. I think you're going to like them. I would, I don't want to say what the other two were because I don't have them. I ordered them. They should be coming. And uh, so just telling you will, won't do no good. It'd be so much better if you could see them. And uh, so we'll just wait until that um, comes. I made a video and I did show a screenshot of the cars in the video so you can see what you want. So we'll wait till that time comes and I'll release, release that video and let you guys uh, see who won what. And, um, but I'm not even going to tell you how many of you got it right, because, uh, then you'll, you'll go through there and you'll count the, the, the amount of numbers and you'll figure out who it was. So I'm just not, but I will say, I, I kind of expected more people to guess that person, to guess the person than, um, you know, but oh, well, it's all good. I still got three winners out of the deal. So that's cool. And so y'all take it easy, have a good weekend, and I uh, apologize again for the beginning of my video, but I needed to get that out there. I don't know if that's even done, but I hope it's done. I hope nobody wants me to weigh back in on that. I, I don't want to, but I assure you I will wipe the floor with this whole thing if I'm brought back to the table. I'm not in the middle of this. I made my point, and I believe I was correct. I would like for you guys to settle your own deal now. Um, y'all take it easy and be cool. And like I said, if you see me in somebody's comments and you think I'm do I've done something, go watch my video. You'll find out how I think, what I do. I'm not doing anything, guys. I call an apple an apple and an orange an orange. Y'all be cool. Take it easy. Peace. Outro. And hey, just where's the love, man? Who was that? Who sang that back in the day? What was that? Hanson or something? Who was that? For some reason that just popped in my head. Maybe it was in the 90s. Where? I think it. I don't know. I'll take it easy. Peace. Outro.